I want to talk about Russ and Young Bands. So, as you know, R- Young Bands is one of the guys who are always on the fuck Russ wave. And Russ, um, he wasn't too happy about it. And he went on, what's that show called? He went on 92, whatever, with DJ Head and Bootleg Kev. And he discussed it. Because earlier in the week, Young Bands was on some, just got off the phone with Russ. We chopped it up. This is after Smoke Perp shit, after him getting jumped, all that. Just got the phone with Russ. We chopped it up. We talked about it. We all good now. And then back door, he hit us with the next day. Oh, that was my manager that hacked me. You know, it's still fuck Russ for life. No cap. We with that shit. Internet shit or real life strip. No cap. I'm on that shit. So I was like, did this nigga really get hacked? Like, what, what's the story behind it? And Russ, I, Russ ain't lied yet. All his interviews, he put out the, I uh, stepped to niggas at wireless festivals and all this shit. I put the videos out. I do this. He jumped. He got Adam 22 jumped. Like, I don't think Russ would lie about this situation. So we about to watch what Russ had to say about the young band situation. And I'm going to get my opinion on the young band shit. So let's see what Russ got to say about it. Like the next day, Reese was like, yo, Bands wants to talk to you. Publicly apologize. Yada, yada, yada. I was like, Reese, oh, young band's like, homie. Yeah, you can give my number if it's not on some funny shit. Like, otherwise, like, keep it. If we're going to be real, then. Yeah, then let's be real. So I talked to Bands, you feel me? And he was like, yeah, all that shit is lame. All that shit is whack. Um, I'm dead in that shit. Cool, cool, cool. And I was like, well, look, I was like, you can't publicly do all that shit and privately apologize. Right. You yeah. Can't publicly apologize. So that's when he True. on Twitter and said what he said. And I was like, cool. Acknowledged. And I was like, cool. All right, we're done. Squash. Now, the next day, he FaceTimes <laughs> The next day, he FaceTimes me and he goes, bro, can you come up? Like, they killing me <laughs> on the internet because all of his fans were like, yo. yo you you got to mind it. Young Ben is a young. Like, he's 18. Can you, you know what? I'm going to stop saying that. Say something like. I was like, bro, it's not my spot to say something. Like, and at the end of the day, like you started the trolling and the negativity. Now you're getting it back. Like that's kind of what you got to you got to take that one on the chin. Take that heat. Period. So then, whatever. She so was like, cool. Then Facetimes me again that day, and I remember this is at like five thirty. I still have. I mean, I have the receipts. I could expose the whole, but it is what it is. But talk. He's like, bro, you got to say something. Like this. I was like, bro, it is not my spot to yeah, say anything. Like, bro, he you, was he was like, all right, cool, I'm gonna say something then. Two hours later, he goes on there. That's does so cool. That's he, whack, bro. He knows what's up. Reese knows it was all whack. Like every like, that's just a little 18 year old kid who's trying to manipulate the internet, and he's scared to lose to save fans. His fans. And, it's like whatever, bro. All that shit is. Why do you whack. feel the need? Why do you feel the need to even engage with these? With like, uh, so that's it. They, they go on and it was a good interview. I, mean, I advise you go watch it if you wanna. Watch some Russia. Obviously, a lot of people disliked it, and like Russ said, it's it's the kids that dislike Russ. It's it's the kids that listen to these other kids that do lame shit. Like young bears talk to this nigga on the phone like an adult, and I'm not using that bullshit no more. Talking about oh they're 18 year old. My nigga, I was 18 years old. I didn't make necessarily maybe I didn't have the money they had, or the times were different from when I was 18 as far as social media to how they are now. Maybe that's a different type of thing, or maybe it's the money that make these niggas act a certain way they act. But that's corny. That's clown shit. Young Ben's already tweeted that he's about to go to trial next week for murder. And the week before you're doing shit like this, like, if I'm going to jail for murder, if I'm not, he might not go to jail. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't even know nothing about the case. I've never even heard a Young Ben song in my fucking life. No, actually, yes, I have. With well, him and YB in the mirror, whatever is on Cole Bennett's, whatever. That's irrelevant. But if I got all this real life shit facing me, I got real life shit going on in my life to where I could possibly be going to jail for an actual crime, like murder, life in prison. I'm not trying to keep up some bullshit perception on the internet of, yeah, man, I'm still a real nigga. Look, fuck Russ. Russ ain't Russ a bitch, especially if I just got off the phone with this man. And of course, you could, you could honestly, you could tell this fan, this guy's fans are kids because Nobody who's above the age of 20, I believe, because they're, they're saying 18, 19. I guess they don't know what the fuck's going on. But when I was 18, 19, I knew what the fuck was going on. I knew a sense of right and wrong and what was good, what was bad, what was lame, and what was like uh, the right shit to do. But I guess nowadays it's different. 18, is, you're still a kid. But it's got to be young people that are like championing shit. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, he, he, he's right, man. Fuck Russ. Champion him. Get behind him. Like, No. No, that shit is whack. That shit is corny. And I want, like where I say he got, the, I want the nigga to put out the shit. I want him to put out the message. I want him to to show that these guys, these rappers that you looking up to, you you love and you admire so much doing whack shit. I want the kids to see my favorite rapper does whack shit. Because like, Russ makes a lot of sense. People don't like this nigga, but he makes a lot of sense. 
And I've even said this before. He talks about on another interview he did with Genius. It's called For the Record, Rob Markman. He talks about these artists today, and they're really just Instagram entertainers. They they do their skits. They put on their chains. Like They get more views on Instagram, more comments on Instagram, more comments on social media. They do on the actual music. These kids don't necessarily like these people's music. They like their personas. They like their images. Like, yeah, of course, a lot of subliminal shit is about Lil Pump. You go on Pump's Instagram, he got 10 million followers. He got, every time he posts a video, he gets six, seven million views. Same with Takashi. They get views. Like, I, I made a video about this before. They get views. Like, they put out a YouTube video, you'll get views just because people want to visually see what you're doing. But when it comes to, like, record sales, album sales, You'll see, even though, it's not even just them, like a person, like I said about Nicki Minaj, there's like a disconnect between us nowadays. We just want to see what's going on with the people. We don't, The music is secondary now. The people and the the imagery of the person is first. You'll have 10, let's just say Pump, for instance. We could talk, We already talked about Nicki fucking into the ground last week. So Pump got 10 million, might be 11 now, 12, I don't know. Last time I remember, he, it was like upwards of 10 million. So you have 10 million people watching your page, liking your shit. You're getting uh, 2 million likes every time you post a pic. But Harvard Dropout is coming out tomorrow or tonight, I think. Today's Thursday, so probably tonight it'll come out. Let's see if he even gets that amount. Like, if Pump sells 60,000, 70,000, and I have 10 million followers, what does that say about me? What does that say about my brand? What does that say about my music? And that's just with all these young kids. Like, young bands were so scared that his social media perception was going to go down just because he pieces up with Russ. That he went out of his way to try to retract it and say that, that my manager hacked me and corny shit. And I'm not, like, I'm not giving it up to 18 year old. I'm 18 bullshit. You know what the fuck's going on at 18 unless you're, like, somewhat slow. When you're 18, you know what's going on in the world. You know right from wrong. Like, this man is facing a murder charge. He knows what the fuck is going on in the world. So for him to, like, allow his fans to control and dictate what he does because he's in fear of the, the mob. Oh, my God, you like Russ now. You're cool with Russ. He even said on the interview that Smoke Purple and him squashed it. They called each other, talked it out. It's being reported him and Adam, too, have finally squashed it. So, like, if these guys could squash with Russ, why can't you? Why is there a thing? Like, I have to be the tough guy. I have to say, no, fuck Russ. We could do this shit off the internet and in the streets. So now a Russ look at you, he's like, I can never really piece it up with this nigga. I can never trust this nigga again to do anything with, ever. Because I see what type of phony shit he's on. And his fans should see what type of phony shit he on. You should see what type of time a nigga on when they doing shit like that. But that's like I got with that. I think that shit's so whack, so corny, like so trying to keep up this image. Like, I'm a... You, why is it so cool to be a tough? Why you gotta be a? Why niggas gotta be tough guys all the time? Why can't you just be regular? Why niggas can't be normal? You already look like a tough guy, I guess, because you got a murder charge. Like you already got that imagery on you. So why need the, the the the? Oh no, I don't piece it up with niggas. I'm I'm in, I'm in this bitch. I'm young Ben. Like, come on, bro. Focus on the music. Focus on the the shit that actually matters. Like, focus on the murder charge. Like, I wouldn't if I my nigga, if my freedom is on the line and I only got a week left. And Russ, I got on the phone with Russ. He's like, apologize, bit, fucking apologize. Oh, these niggas hating on me. Bro, I'm about to go to jail possibly for life. I'm not worried about my perception on the internet no more. Fuck the internet. It's real lifetime. I don't give a fuck about niggas on the internet. I'm worried about real life, real shit that's about to happen to me. So I'm not about to try to cater to these niggas on the internet. Because when I'm gone and I'm in prison, it's going to be a bunch of fake ass free me's, but fake ass, oh, I wish young bands was out bullshit. Because they only show you, let me tell you something in hip hop. They only show you love. Real, like, genuine love. I mean, there's niggas that they show real genuine love to. Like, people love their big artists. But you'll see you'll probably get the most love when you're either locked up or you die. 